Okay. We go to 1530. Now I beg you, brethren, through the Lord Jesus Christ and through the love of the Spirit, that you strive together with me in prayers to God for me. That I may be delivered from those in Judea who do not believe. That my service for Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints. That I may come to you with joy by the will of God. That I may be refreshed together with you. And the God of peace be with you all. Amen. Now, now this is a soliciting prayer support. You know, soliciting prayer support. And the subsequent history um, uh, um, revealed that uh, this is not um, a, a, a mere premonition of danger. The danger he faced was real. You know, the Holy Spirit witnessed in every city that bonds and imprisonment awaits him in Jerusalem. And so he begs to the brethren. So see, it is, it is quite in order to solicit prayer support. Nobody is an island. Nobody can exist alone. And then nobody can pray all the prayers and receive all the revelations that you need in your life. So now and again, the Holy Spirit reaches us through others, through other brethren. And that's how you know the people that are really united with you um, at the material moment. Too. It's not uh, that the others are not united with you. You know, I remember, hmm, what year was it? It was in the 90s, though. Um, I was, going, I was invited by the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship in Cannes. Maybe I've told you the story before. You know, I was invited by Full Gospel in Cannes to a very highly advertised meeting. You know, I accepted to go there. And then, a week or so to that meeting, a brother called me all the way from California. You know, he said, are you traveling? I said, not outside, but inside. I'm traveling inside. He said, yes, inside. I said, yes, I'm traveling inside. So ah, let us pray. I, I had no sense of any danger. So anyway, the tone of his prayer, um, um, give me the idea that um, something serious could be happening there. And that then made me start to pray about the trip in a way that uh, will focus really on that aspect of it. However, um, um, as I prayed, then the visions of um, terrorist masked men, you know, started appearing before my eyes. And I was uh, saying to the Lord, oh, why all these terrorists, you know? Oh, he said to me, it is that your trip to come. Don't go there. Cut a long story short. In fact, he not only said don't go there, he said don't tell them they're not coming until the night before. So the night before, I called the guy who invited me. He had an answering phone. So I left him a message, and I didn't go. Then, months later, a friend of mine in England, and no, he was living in Canada, told me that uh, Reinhard Bunke was smuggled out of Canada in a carton because of the um, threat to his life. So, so, you know, that scripture that says, lead us not into temptation. Then the next one says, deliver us from evil. So it's better. I tell people, God, God is preventing, you know, he would rather uh, not lead you into temptation. 
and come and deliver you from the evil. So, um, a lot of people don't follow that uh, uh, scripture carefully. You know, it's better prevention. It's in the Bible. You woke up Joseph. Take this child to Egypt. You want to kill him. So it's easier and it's uh, administratively and strategically easier to have one seraphim follow Joseph to Egypt than to have a whole legion of angels engaged in defending Jesus from Herod. So he said, take this child to Egypt now. And he did. And that was it. Herod couldn't kill him. So let us continue to pray for one another. You know? And the Holy Spirit will give us strength. It's not, it's not every time, though, that you receive a revelation um, about somebody that is not good, that you call them to tell them. It's not every time. You have to get clearance from the Holy Spirit. But some people, if you tell them a, re a bad revelation, that will create a fixation for them. You know, so it's, it's God. So sometimes when people now come and tell me some revelations, I say, well, just pray for it. Don't tell them. Just pray for it and cancel it because that's why they sent to you. Cancel it and don't tell them. Tell them. Okay. So let us um, use all these principles to guide and guard our relationship with one another in Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.